Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. All right, let's head over for another look at the forecast, and that wind out there is whipping. Yeah, an active start to the week, Alana. Yeah, storm still out there tonight, and that does include in and around Salt Lake County. Stormy sunset. Don Can caught it in Sandy. Sun went down at 845, and we did see some gorgeous shots throughout the region on top of Don taking that incredible picture. We also know that Sam Pete County was dealing with some gorgeous conditions as well. Brian grabbing this. Look at the sun coming through. The storms they were out there and they're not going to go away anytime soon. 86 is where we topped out in Salt Lake today. That's 11 degrees above the seasonal norm. 80s along the rest of the Wasatch Front. 83 in Moab, 90 in St. George. We have been running above average for the last several days and even weeks. And that means that we're melting that record snowpack. Great shot from Bear Lake from Carol Dyer. And it's coming down quickly. As we take a look at snowpack, in February we were still contributing. March as well. We had our record hit in April. But then the warmth set in and boy, have we rapidly melted that record breaking snow 7.7 .7 inches for our snow water equivalent still up there. That translates to plenty of snow feet of snow still to come down. Flood alerts in effect. Bear River near the state line, Severe River near Hatch and the Ogden River on the back side of the Wasatch. Flood watch where we could potentially see flooding includes the Little Bear River and the Weber River near Plain City and flood advisories where minor flooding is occurring towards Corinne, that portion of the Bear River on the eastern side of the state and for the Green River near Jensen in Uinta County. All right, showed you a dry lake picture from Chris Williams. Scott Taylor was also up there. Look at how crystal clear that water is, but it was hazy. We know that those Canadian wildfires bringing in smoke, thin smoke out there tonight, but there is an upside because we have our southwesterly flow kicking in, so thicker smoke moving to the east of us, our smoke source up in Canada, and a system in the Pacific Northwest helping to push that thicker smoke out of here. So while it may appear hazy, we don't have particulate matter as an issue. We've got green air quality throughout northern Utah, and that's nice to say after this weekend where we definitely saw air compromised. Satellite radar shows you that stalled front in the last couple of hours, how storms have been still brewing in central Utah, down south starting to quiet, but staying active in the northern half of the state. That's going to continue as we roll into tomorrow. It brings flash flood potential with the possibility near Arches, Canyonland, so eastern Utah and the rest of the Mighty Five. Zion steps back as the southwest desert begins to dry out. Here's a look at what to expect when it comes to the future cast. We're going to see those storms hanging on tonight. Scattered activity will eventually dwindle by the early morning hours, but not much of a break. By the afternoon, we're popping again. It is northern Utah. So we're going to see some stronger storms tomorrow. Active skies with heavy rain, thunder, lightning and some gusty winds. And we stay with that pattern through the evening hours and then into Wednesday. Now notice how southern Utah stays quiet. We start Wednesday fairly quiet, but then scattered activity holds on. So we've got to be very careful as a system in the Pacific Northwest meanders through the Great Basin. Excessive rainfall. There's a marginal risk for it for the northwestern corner of the state and a portion of the Wasatch Front, meaning that these thunderstorms could could pack a punch. So if you've got baseball graduation, you want to be out and about, just be careful. 70s and 80s for those daytime highs. We see that on the eastern side of the state, upper 70s in Cedar City, low 90s down there in St. George, where the next seven days shows the warmth where we stay dry. Just take a look. St. George seven day for Memorial Day weekend, slightly above average for the temperatures but plenty of sunshine. Wasatch Front, a bit of a different story. Scattered storms for the next two days, closing out the work week with more isolated activity. Slight chance Saturday and Sunday. Memorial Day looking pretty decent. Daytime highs staying above average. No 70s in sight here. 80s for the next seven days with storms on the horizon. Glenn, Emily, over to you. Lana, thank you. We also